Welcome to the Norfolk Naval Shipyards celebration ceremony for Memorial Day. My name is Nicholas Boyle and I am the president of the Veterans Employee Readiness Group. Before we begin our ceremony, I'd like to call upon our Norfolk Naval Shipyard family to rally in participation at the flag laying at Portsmouth Naval Medical Center tomorrow, May 27th at 4 p.m. Please come out and support in honor of all that have made the ultimate sacrifice for our great nation. At this time, I would now like to welcome Father Steve Dundas, retired command chaplain, to the podium to deliver the invocation. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-loving God, we give you thanks today for the men and women who laid down their lives for this country. We honor them today. We remember them from those who helped gain our freedom in the Revolutionary War, to those who fought in 1812, including the brave men of the USS Chesapeake, which was built here. We thank you for those who, gave, who fought in the Battle of Hampton Roads with the Monitor and the Virginia, for those who made the stand on Little Round Top, for those who scaled the heights of Mount Suribachi, to those who sacrificed themselves in Vietnam, the Persian Gulf, Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, and so many other places. And to the heroes of the Cold War, who often, whose service went often unrecognized, such as the men of the USS Thresher. God, we honor all of them today. We thank you, the living, for what they did in giving the last full measure of devotion to this country. Amen. Thank you, Father Dundas. And now I would like to introduce the Executive Officer of America's Shipyard, Captain Todd Nichols. Good morning, everyone. And good morning, America's Shipyard. Thank you for coming out today in observance of Memorial Day. I want to begin by providing a special thank you to the Veterans Employee Readiness Group for hosting this event, as I'm sure it will be one to remember. Your dedication to our shipyard and the Navy does not go unnoticed, and I'm very proud of the work you, you've done to ensure our veterans are recognized and honored, especially today. It's important that we take time to observe Memorial Day, a day in which we honor the service members who sacrificed their lives in service of the United States Armed Forces. It's a day of remembrance and reflection as many perished in the prime of their lives leaving behind so many loved ones to treasure their memories and carry on their legacies. It is a day for us to remember the quote, gone but not forgotten. Today, we stand in solidarity as dedicated Norfolk Naval Shipyard members and proud Americans for our fallen brothers and sisters. Solidarity demands we honor those who died before us and who continue to keep the world safe for freedom. This is why our military places so much emphasis on morale and unit cohesion. It's second nature to those who have served that when facing a harrowing moment in the fog of war, 
It's an ingrained devotion and loyalty to fellow sailors and shipmates that have the courage to risk certain death for the collective benefit of their unit, their mission, and our nation. No single sacrifice saves a country, just as no single person maintains our shipyard. It works as a unit, together, comprised of high-performing teams who choose to sacrifice daily in service to the fleet so the Navy can play its role in protecting this nation. We are but one team who are serving one greater mission. And to our fallen brothers and sisters, we can never thank you enough for the sacrifices made by you and your families. Not a day goes by where we don't honor what you have given our nation. You may be gone, but you will never be forgotten. We will continue to honor your legacies as we march forward into tomorrow, standing upon the shoulders of your sacrifices. During the official observance of Memorial Day this Monday, I invite each of you to take time to reflect and pay tribute to those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms. Thank you again for coming out today, and thank you to everyone who participated in and attended this important ceremony. God bless. At this time, I'd like to invite our guest speaker, electronics technician, Chief Petty Officer, retired, Pete Sellers, to the podium. Good morning. Good morning, Chief. This is Memorial Day. A day to remember those men and women that gave their lives for this country, this nation. We remember Boston, Delaware, Battle of Great Bridge, New Orleans, the Battle of the Marne, Gallipoli, Guadalcanal and Saipan, Battle of the Bulge, Corregidor. We remember Korea, Vietnam, and Afghanistan. Well, maybe not most of you. I do. And we remember the war times, 1776, 1913, 41, 1963, 2001. And we remember the names of the men and women that we knew and knew of. But for me, the most important thing is why. I celebrate this day, this country and this nation for which these men and women gave their last full measure of devotion. I celebrate this country, this nation this country. Do you realize this country spreads across an entire continent out into the largest ocean in the, in the world and up to the Arctic Circle? It's big. It has majestic mountains reach to the sky and poke it. So we reach <clears throat> big canyons and large cities, small towns, plains, deserts, all these things, all these places, it's part of why we serve and they died. More important, this nation 380 million people, individuals, diverse in outlook, in talk, in speech, in color, all manner of people make up this nation. Everyone with a unique person and personage. Almost everyone an immigrant. It's the same 
everyone has the same liberties and freedoms that are guaranteed by the Constitution, protected by law, our law, <clears throat> and given to us by those we remember today. That's what is important to me, <clears throat> and that's what I celebrate. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. At this time, I'd like to invite Father Dundas back to the podium to deliver the benediction. As you go from this place, always remember those who gave their last full measure of devotion to this country. And remember that God loves you. God will never leave you or forsake you. God is not mad at you. And may the blessing of God be upon you always. Amen. We will now have Amazing Grace placed to honor those we have lost, performed by Lieutenant Colonel Tom Metz, United States Army, retired. <laughs> 